Hi, my name's Denise R. Uh, many of you may know me as the lady who works along with Cheryl Phoenix on the Black Child Agenda. Community causes are very dear to me and I do try to support organisations where I can. Alongside working on the Black Child Agenda, I am also assisting with the um, Bridge Park Complex. Now, many of you, and maybe it's not so, maybe there's some people who don't know, um, know the history of this. So the complex is in Stonebridge, which is in Halston, North West 10, and it comes under the control of Brent Council. In May 1982, um, a disused London bus garage was purchased by the founders. Um, the main person, the name that you may know, is that of Leonard Johnson. Leonard Johnson is one of our community icons. And he purchased, it, purchased this with a brainchild to develop it into an educational uh, business units support for our organisation to develop social enterprises. Now, if you want the full details about this, I'm going to suggest that you go to uh, www.bridgeparkcomplex.com because there you can get the full history. But just really briefly, um, he, the community, the charity, HPCC, raised around about three and a half million pounds up to 1986. It took two years to build it, and in 1988, Prince Charles opened it. They ran this for until the year 2003, and then after that, Brent Council took it over and gradually ran the building down. I'm now going to fast forward to this year, February 2018. Rent Council, in their wisdom, have decided to try and sell this building, the building that belongs to you, to me, to a company called General Mediterranean Holdings. Again, if you want to find out more, Google them. This company have a plan to invest over 850 million pounds to develop hotel, um, some flats, which apparently I understand they're only going to give 5% back to the community. So they're going to build 600 apartments and 5% would be 30 flats back to the community for low cost housing. And they're also going to build a gym and a swimming pool. That's what they're going to give to us because that's what we do. We just need to swim and keep fit. Anyway, Brent Council have done this without any consultation with us because there's lots of people I've been speaking to who know nothing about the update. So Brent Council, uh, without any consultation, um, have removed the protective covenant on the land and then have actually got into a situation where they're about to actually exchange contracts with them. And as I said, no consultation with the people. A strict condition of the sale is that the land must be uh, free of all interests. But Brent Council have allowed them to actually try and purchase this for a mere 13.5 million pounds. And as I said, it's actually worth 50 million. And throughout this time, the HPCC has declared its interest in the land. It's never let off because it's ours. You don't just take something from somebody and just give it away. So we've declared an interest throughout the whole time. So following legal advice, um, we decided to go to the land registry to see whether they would agree with us that we need to restrict the sale of the land. And wow, thank goodness they agreed to it. So that is the situation where we're at now because we also have a plan, a plan for you and for me that we also want to build some affordable homes for our community and develop a centre of excellence with business units, etc., etc. So why am I here giving you this update? The update is for this reason. We need you to help us. We need your money and your time.
we need a barrister. So let's start with a barrister. We are looking for a barrister who will operate on a pro bono basis that will be able to support us through this. Now that's really key. I want you to really put this out there amongst all your various groups. And if you're a lawyer or a barrister and you know somebody who wants to be, get involved in a really, really good cause, then put them our way. So that's one thing. But barristers need money. And to start a case, we're going to need at least between 10 and 25,000 pounds. There's enough of us to do this within 24 hours, 48 hours. It's not a long process. So if you really believe in this, I'm asking you to back us. Now, if you want to make any sort of payments, um, you've got to go fund account, which is www.gofundme.com forward slash Bridge Park. Anything you can contribute will help us. So go to your, your friends, your family, your churches, your groups, whatever. You might even be out on a Saturday night. Talk to people. See if they'll contribute. Every mickle make a mackle. Yeah? I think that's the old Jamaican saying. So please, I'm asking you, please contribute to this. Time is going against us. Another situation which I can't really go into too much at the present moment is this. Obviously with such a big, a big project like this, there's been lots of negotiation between the local authority and the steering group, the legal arm of the HPCC that are fighting this case. The council um, had agreed to mediation with us and we were quite happy to do that. But they've done a little bit of a dirty move and they've actually uh, making applications or have made an application to actually have our case struck out. So um, we're going to be uh, getting a date um, for a summary hearing shortly. So we can need to focus all our efforts on that. Um, Brent are in a position to chip away at our finances. They know our predicament, but I need your help to make sure that this happens. So guys, I'm going to really leave it there. I've given you everything that you need. You've got the website address. You've got the GoFundMe address. Um, I've told you that the date of the next public meeting is going to be either the 9th or the 16th of December, hopefully the 9th. I'd like as many people of all age groups to attend that meeting. Um, get some media going on there to really push it out there. This isn't just local news. Yeah, this is national news. Um, and it's only with your help that we can actually come through this. So, you know, when, you, when you've seen this, as I've said, please share it as many places as possible. Um, wherever you are, share this and support us. You know, we need to show Brent Council what we're made of, and that we are a determined people and they're not going to take away this that those people all those years ago, Leonard and his team worked to create for us. Mm -hmm.